Hello, my name is Dave, Dave Thompson, and I'm a photographer. And funnily enough, my business name is Photography by Dave Thompson. I'm going to let you guess how long you think that probably took to come up with that title. But yeah, this is me, I'm Dave, I'm a photographer, and I live in Stockport. So my business has been running now for 2020. I started going freelance uh, in 1999. Uh, I had a seven year gap in the middle where I was employed by a, a, a press agency because a lot of the work that I've done historically is editorial work. Going back to 1999, before that I left college in 1997, so effectively all my working life has been spent as a professional photographer, which is something that during lockdown I've realised is an enormous privilege because for the last, where are we now, five or six weeks, I've not been able to do something that I didn't quite realise just how much I love doing it. So, how did I get the inspiration to become a photographer? Well, I'm going to talk about the wedding side of it because when I was a press photographer, I would do weddings for friends and family and then I would run a million miles from them. In the summer of 2018, I did a wedding for two people, Charlotte and Craig, in Liverpool and loved it um, but the thing that inspired me was after their wedding we took I took them the USB and they looked through it on a computer screen and I think after three pictures Charlotte turned around to Craig and said oh my god Craig I could cry um, and I think that just emphasized to me the fact that to provide someone with images from a day that is so important to them, for them to keep forever and to evoke that emotion in them, just made me think there might be something in this for me to become involved in. Being a wedding photographer can take you anywhere, really. Um, I tend to, obviously, I'm based in the Northwest, so that's where I tend to do the majority of my weddings, but there is all being well. A wedding booked in for next year in Bordeaux so needless to say I think as photographers as videographers as suppliers of, of any kind really uh, we don't tend to limit ourselves as to where we can work so you could go to Somerset you could go to Scotland wherever um, the most important part is to speak to your supplier and find out if that's something they offer In one of the earlier questions, I've probably touched on this a little bit about what it is that I love about my job. Um, it's people. It, it's always been people that are the things that make me tick. I remember doing a project at college about dinner ladies um, and how their job was slowly, or they were becoming less and less of them at this particular school. Um, and that was kind of when I started to realise that interaction with people is something that I enjoy and building that relationship which again is what you'll or what I do with a bride and groom that right from the moment when we meet to the day that you deliver their final product that you're building the relationship with them you're getting to know them um, and it's brilliant it's, it's one of taking pictures is almost a side note really to knowing how a couple tick I send them my online brochure for them to take a look at, which includes prices, which I think is important because I would hate to be in a position where I wanted to buy something, fell in love with it, and then decided it was way out of my budget. And then I'm kind of happy for them to go away if they need to have another thing. There's no obligation, and this is what I class as part of my relationship building. I don't want to be that pressure salesman that wants you to come on, book me, book me, book me. I'm not like that. I've never been like that. My editing process is pretty traditional. I don't tend to massively manipulate images. I don't see why I should. I, I don't want to change the way you look. I might lighten an image, I might darken an image, I might crop an image. I'm not going to remove things from the image that are you because it's fundamentally wrong. Some of the products that I offer as well are pretty standard across the board really. Um, 
I have a half day package and a full day package. Everything else is pretty much an add-on. You can bespoke, make your own, sorry, make your own bespoke wedding photography package. I got married in 2002 to Caroline and we got married at St George's Church in Stockport and then we had our reception at a hotel in Stockport. I couldn't actually watch Caroline walk down the aisle because I was too busy crying. <laughs> I remember my brother putting his hand on my shoulder and telling me to breathe. Um, I remember seeing her as she arrived at the altar with her dad next to her and yeah, wow.